All right, so we got um, negative 2x plus y equals 4. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we need to graph this thing. Um, uh, but the first thing we're going to do it is, is get y by itself so we can make a little table and then graph it, right? So to get y by itself, we have to get rid of the negative 2x. So it's like negative 2x is being added on. So to undo that or to get rid of that or to get y in its own, does this make sense, everyone, if we just add 2x to both sides? Yes. All right. So that will give us y equals 4 plus 2x or 2x plus 4. Now it's the same thing. It doesn't matter if you write 4 plus 2x or 2x plus 4, but I'm just going to do it this way because now it's in the form of y equals mx plus b, where this is the slope m and that's the y-intercept b, right? So now I'm just going to do a little table, a little xy table. I'm going to plug in some points. And you can plug in anything you want, but always plug in 0 because it's a real handy one to plug in. It's right there, and that's actually the y-intercept when you plug 0 in, right? Um, so anyway, we'll start with zero. So if I plug zero in for x, we should get two times zero plus four, which is zero plus four, which is four. We all okay with that? Yep. And now the x value was zero and the y value was four. So that point should be here. All right. So I mean, the, we've done most of it now. That's most of the work. And now all we need to do is find some more points and then draw a line and actually have a ruler today, believe it or not. Draw a line with the ruler, right? So um, you can pick, pick anything. You could do negative 1 and 1, negative 2 and 2, or, or you could do 5 and 10. You could do 100. You wouldn't want to do 100, though, because it's all the way over here towards, like, the wall, and it's not going to be on your graph. So it'd be good to try to pick something that's only going to show up on the grid, basically, right? Um, but I'll just plug in negative 1 and 1. Now when I plug in the x values, it's good to use parentheses. Right? So 2 times negative 1, get negative 2 plus 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. And then we have 2 plus 4, 6. Are you okay with that? So with the points, like we could do this if we want to. We could go, you know, 0, 4, uh, negative 1, 2, and 1, 6. But does anyone feel like you even need to do that? I mean, these are the x values. They're the y values. You can just read it off the table. You don't actually have to write this out. Does that make sense? Or... Or do you all like doing that? I don't know. Yes. But negative 1, 2 is there and 1, 6 is there. You can do it if you want. It doesn't matter. But but that's... and Like, we're drawing a straight line. So you only actually need two points. You don't need three. But, I mean, there's no harm in getting some more. I mean, like, even if I got... Even if I threw in, say, you know, negative 4, just for fun. See what happens. So that's 2 times negative 4... Uh, plus 4, right, so that's uh, negative 8 plus 4, which gives me also negative 4. So negative 4, negative 4 is also a point. And look, it's in line with the others. Like, so, especially when you're taking a test, let's do a bunch of points just to be sure. You know what I mean? Because if, if they're all in, in a straight line, then you've probably done a good job, right? So that's the line. Any questions on that so far? No. So the next point, there's two things I want you all to see on this graph. One is the y-intercept and the other is the slope. So the y-intercept, we'll start with that. That's just where the line hits the y-axis. Now, can we all see where it hits the y-axis? Is that clear? Let me just... Let me get my camera working better here. The focus is, should be auto. All right, so where does it hit the y-axis? 
zero so four. Right. Right. At 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 four at zero four or at four four units up on the y axis. Can we all see that? Yes. I'm trying to say that y intercept is four because it's four units up. Can we all see that? And in the yes. equation, where do we see a four? If you look at your equation, four is right here, isn't it? And now my camera is being annoying again, so I'll do that. So, so this is no coincidence. There's a four here, that's where it goes through the y-axis, and there's a four here, and that's the y-intercept. Does that make sense? Yes. And that's our b, and the, you know, y equals mx plus b. That's our b value. b is four. Okay, so now the slope is the next thing. And if you have the graph there, just want you all to just, like, pick points and just go from one to the other by going over and then up. Over, up. Over, up. Over, up. Or run, rise, run, then rise, run, then rise. And we'll see that the rise over the run is what? So when I'm going from one, one point to the other, what I want you all to see, everybody, I want you all to see how far are you going across and how far are you going up to get to the next point. So can you all see that? Just write it down. Just so everyone can just write down the rise over the run. Don't, don't shout it out now. Just write it down in your paper. Rise over run equals spot over what? I want everyone to do that. Everyone write down. Rise over run equals spot over what? So it's the distance you go across is the run, and the distance you go up is the rise, right? So what I hope you all are seeing is that every time we go over one space, we go up two to get to the next point. You go over one space, you go up two. You go over one, up two. So we're so if you see clearly now, we're running one and rising two to get to the next point. Can we all see that? Yes. Okay. So the, the run is 1, the rise is 2. So we have rise over run is 2 over 1, which is just 2. And where does 2 appear in the equation? Oops. The slope. Right. So 2 appears as the coefficient of x. It's this number here, isn't it? So that's our slope. That's our m. So our b, our y-intercept is 4. And our, oh, sorry, <laughs> B. So B is 4 and M is 2. You all okay with that?